hello hello everyone how are you doing hope all is well and i hope you are having a beautiful and awesome day you know my grandmother always say uh, life it is so strange and it is the only time you will understand the difference between life and school you see in school you are given a lesson plan and then you are given a test to see how well you understand it you see in a real life you are given a test that propel you to learn a lesson and sometimes it is learned the hard way but sometimes we still have a second chance to make it a well learned lesson so we don't make that mistake again so in all we do as we walk this road of life is take every disappointment every hurt every pain as a lesson towards not getting yourself in that situation again so here we go again vibes cartel family in the news again cartel family tanisha johnson ak shorty at home when the police invaded their home the police allegedly told shorty that they have a warrant but based on shorty's questioning the inspector the warrant was not appropriately detailed as her name tanisha johnson yes was right but the number of the address is in question however the police inspector said the number may be off but he would really wanted her house sold so he know he's at the right address as it's alleged strange men been coming in and out under suspicious circumstances that's crazy though because what you what would they call suspicious men coming in and out you know what i mean what would they call that so because they might not know the person mean that they are suspicious they need to make that make sense to which shorty responded it's her sons and her brother the thing is their life is controversial based on the fact that it's vibes cartel immediate family so there's already a stigma attached there and there are many people still do not believe that shorty is innocent as she portrays to social media but i think based on how she socialized she's a tough cookie I however do believe that she is a dedicated and protective mother, even worse with the circumstances that surrounds their lives. As she may not be perfect, but she will do anything to keep her sons safe. The authorities will always be suspicious of them. They will never get away from that. But the way all the security forces are going about it, leaves a lot to be desired because more time when they're running on the family it's like annoyance because their findings is always nothing so their investigating is very lapse as they need to do better investigation before they're running on people and it has even worsened over time especially with that old drama and tales like Addy did with his drama with the security guard in Ocherius when he went to buy his breakfast as he had went brawling on social media his outburst was one of a wicked man that that socialized around wickedness and I am just saying it mildly that has even made the security force free them even harder as even myself before his outburst i looked at those kids as shorty grooming them uptown style prim and proper away from mix-up and drama but damn when little addy open his mouth is like him is the leader of the mafia if you quint out around him you drop off of the clothesline so you can imagine how the authorities are preying them they will never get a break as there is many things the authorities knows 
about their father interaction and suspected interaction they have had but they just don't have any proof so they will be reaching for every and anything however i could be wrong i get the feeling that little vibes is not following the road to drama like little addy is but then again that's just my perception looking on hence this recent altercation with the police yesterday morning drama unfolded at tanisha johnson's home as police entered then proceed to search the rooms and seemingly accuse her sons. The incident was captured on camera, shared on social media, and is now being examined by the public. There's a scammer here, said one person in the background of the video. A law enforcer followed up by stating, We have information that strange men are here, to Tanisha Johnson, who is more commonly known as Shorty, or Vibes Cartel's baby mother. The law enforcers went on to outline to Miss Johnson that the target is not you, it's these men who are here. One of Vibes Cartel's son replied in the background making note that the law enforcer stated that they were targets. Based on the footage, the police had a warrant with Tanisha Johnson's name on it. However, the address on the warrant was wrong, which was what Shorty main cry is. If the number is not accurate, nothing is wrong with that, replied the law enforcer. The incident which has now gone viral on social media platform took place on Saturday morning yesterday. A similar incident took place months ago in April after Little Addy's altercation with security guards. The home of Akeem Rahim Palmer, professionally known as Little Addy, was descended upon by a number of law enforcement agents who allegedly entered the artist's premises without a warrant. The thing is, I know most Jamaicans don't really respect the police, but at the end of the day, we still have to allow the process. And some of the th times, there are things that they know that they can't even make public because they can't do that without evidence to back what they're saying because like you can't know anything you know and you know you know you know but getting the concrete evidence is a thing so i think whatever they are doing they need to have better investigators doing their jobs so when these things are done you have something to say to the public grounded to say well we went in because we couldn't find a dog and we hear that the dog is here now we come here we have found the dog you understand investigate and do your surveillance and whatever you need to do because this is like annoying when probably nothing is going on then i can't see shorty if she was to be doing anything because she would have known by now that our children is a target them know where she live and our house is a target it would not be done there that would not make sense and no people can be overly confident and stupid and so on and do things at them at them yard thinking that oh they might now come back and drop them guard but i think she is much smarter than that so if anything was being done or what they think there wouldn't be nothing at the house there there wouldn't be nothing you understand and if they were investigating properly they would know that so then can't just get up and go kick down people door going to people place willy nilly all the time uproot them place you know much work for put back your place in a hard and neat and nice and so on you understand not saying that if you're doing a job doing a job in a but when you check it out generally it happened before the first one well the one that i know of it when little addy went to the bangarang on social media and i can understand that one because his rhetorics were oh my gosh they were like deep you understand so i guess they would want to go and check him and warn him for the things that he had said okay understand that and so on but when you come back here now and so on you should have more ammunition in answer yes we know that is there and we have evidence this that much with that 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 and so on you know it is getting to the people looking on on social media 
it just it would just look, even if you not have one right in the answer who don't know something you know because you don't have no evidence to, to make the public feel like when they're actually doing something the public is looking now and that is you know, just annoying and disgusting and I stop terrorize the people then because on don't like vibes cartel to the contrary vibes cartel is loved by a lot of people even police officers as well and so on and allegedly they know that he is his name is called upon many things you understand but in the end couldn't call from yes at the earth from the beginning of the earth to the end of the earth if you not have no evidence and do on a job to get those evidence you can't be taking out all of this drama on his family because they do have a right to live them life as long as they're doing things legally anyway guys please remember to like comment and subscribe to my platform please love you all bye for now